Welcome to McDonald's Coaches Bench here on Mix 1041, brought to you each week by the area McDonald's restaurants, Mark Smith and all the staff at the area McDonald's restaurants. Bringing you Coaches Bench, Coach Marty Wheeler. Coach Wheeler, um, to start out the program tonight, I just feel that your defense has come through so big the last couple of games. Well, I mean, they have. I mean, our defense has played um, extremely well, I think, in the, in the, in the last two games. Uh, really, uh, as, a, as a unit, you know, it's been a, it's been a team effort, and, and that's usually, uh, I think, when you see the most success defensively, as, as I've talked about before, is when you have guys playing unselfish defense, which is, you know, trusting their teammates to do their job, and they, and they worry about just doing what their job is. And, and you know, biggest thing I'd say is uh, – our guys, if, if we've got a lot of guys around the football, and, and, and um, we, we've gave up some, some points, mainly, fit, but we've made it very, very difficult for you to get in the end zone. And, right. and so anytime we do that, uh, you know, we're going to have a chance to win the football game for sure. I mean, you know, I mean, I, I believe in defense, you know, that I'm a defensive guy, but I, like, it's, uh, we've got to score some points, you know, too, and we've got to do, we're close. I'll say that. Offensively, mm -hmm. we're close. I know it's frustrating, but, but our guys um, were very close to, to breaking some long runs, and we're very close to being more consistent. We have to be more consistent on offense, and you could tell that we got eight new starters on offense right. by the inconsistent play. And so those are things that we're, you know, continuously working on day in and day out. Um, you know, but it, it's we got to do a better job. You know, we've got to coach better. Uh, we've got to play better, and we've got to execute better. And so uh, – We've got to, to, to remain focused throughout an entire drive. I think we lose focus at times um, for whatever reason. Again, they're 16 years old, so <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I haven't figured that one out yet, especially the longer I do this. So, uh, But I really want to see our guys uh, turn the corner offensively. And I think, you know, anytime you're struggling like that, it's, it could be uh, numerous things, right? It could be, um, it could be a personnel issue. It could be a, a lack of experience issue, or it could be that we need to um, simplify what we're doing a little bit more, maybe, and you know, trim some of the fat and focus mm -hmm. on and make it make the game plan much more simple for our guys. Because I think sometimes when they make mistakes, it's maybe because they're thinking a little bit too much, and um, we don't want that. You know, right. We don't want them thinking. So that that's that's where we are. We're excited about uh, tonight. We're excited about the week of practice we've had. You know, I, I like where we're at um, offensively as far as simplifying the game plan. And I'm expecting to see much more um, production as we move forward. Now, uh, Bradley is a good football team, number 10 in the state. So you don't get there without having a lot of talent. They have a lot of talent on offense. Last week, you turned them over three times uh, on the fumble recovery, two picks uh, uh, for your guys. Uh, you made them try field goals on four uh, occasions. So there's... Uh, seven possessions there that uh, they weren't able to get into the end zone. And to me, with their weapons, I mean, when I look at their lineup, they can do some damage. To me, we just have a have to give a big old salute to your defense. I mean, they they uh, they we do. I'm very proud of, of the way our guys played defensively, and you know, um, Coach Barger again, he, he and his staff on the defense side of the ball. Uh, have done a great job of um, of getting our guys ready to play, you know. And I, but I also say this: we got a little more experience on that side of the football right. too, and uh, a little older, a little stronger. And uh, you know, those guys a year ago, uh, they 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 weren't playing at the level they're playing at right now. And and, that, and I think that says a lot about you know how hard they've worked, um, you know, in the off season and, and throughout the summer, and and they're much stronger. And so. The thing that we've done probably best since the first game is is, is improve our tackling. You know, I think we've tackled better. Mm -hmm. We have created some turnovers, and uh, you know that's big defensively. And we got off the we got off the field on third down. You know, uh, we want to get off we want to get off the field yeah, at least fifty percent of the time, and I think we're close to that. Um, doing that right now, and anytime you're doing that uh, defensively, you got a chance to, to to have a really good performance. We'll take our first break on McDonald's <coughs> Coach's Bench with Coach Marty Wheeler, and we'll be back in just a moment. Coach Wheeler, uh, Bennett Smith, a senior kicker, in my opinion, has done a good job for you this year. 
He has. Um, Bennett's, Bennett's um, I think he's uh, perfect on field goal attempts. Um, and if he hadn't, we had one extra point blocked other than that, I mean, he's done a great job as far as kicking field goals for us. And he's, um, and he's done, a, I think, a really good job on, on as far as putting the kicks where we want to put them. Uh, and we've had good coverage for the most part. We've had a couple uh, that, that maybe we, we didn't do like, you know, we didn't get the result we wanted, but it wasn't because of the kick. And and, uh, and he's got a tackle. He made a tackle. Yeah. He likes to stick his little nose in there when he gets a chance. And, and uh, I mean, he, I tell you what he's doing. He's, he's taken from, um, you know, a year ago when it was new to him. I've seen him take a lot of pride in what, what he's doing, and, and he's really tried to to improve on, on it. And, and uh, I think his, uh, he's got a stronger leg this year. And so it's always nice to feel feel like you can, um, you know, when you get in a certain part of the field, that you got a chance, a really good chance to get three points. You know, the question I ask you nine out of ten weeks, i got to do it again. Some people that need recognition for last week that maybe people like me overlooked. Well, I mean, I think, um, for example, I, 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 I know I've mentioned Ethan Burns' name before, but I'll say it again. I mean, he played every snap uh, on both sides of the ball uh, and a couple of special teams. Mm. And, and uh, you know, he's, you don't, you don't see him trying to find a way to get out of the game or he needs, you know, I've, I'm the one that's got to figure out that he needs a blow, not not a, not by him letting me know. And that's the sign of a what I call, a, you know, a throwback, my kind of football player. Uh and he had a big game uh, on the defensive and offensive sides both. Um, I thought he really did a good job uh, shutting down the uh, run game when it came to his side. Uh, he was very physical, plays the game very physical. I would say, you know, Aaron Smith, a uh, yes. kid at corner who, who um, is improved each and every week, just like I, you know, I, we feel like as a staff he would his first year out. Um, I thought um, – you know, Cam Lockerbie and Lucas and Borski, I thought, along with Lamar Anders, yeah. thought all of our, our inside linebackers played played really well Friday night. Now, that's three football players right there. Yeah, and they, they those guys are around the football, and, and they, uh, you know, it means something to them. I think it means something to them to play well. And, and, and they you know, smack you around if you get in their way. Well, you know, a lot of our guys on defense have become physical. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I think offensively, I think um, – our offensive line is getting better. Uh, all those guys, they don't get a lot of credit. Um, but, you know, what they've got to do is, is, like I talked about earlier, we've got to cut down on the mistakes uh, that we make. It, it, it almost seems to be at, at the most inopportune times when we do it. And, um, and I think they're improving each and every week, and they're going to turn the corner. Uh, we need to do, do it now, though. I'm not, you know, I'm not very patient about that type of stuff. But I do see improvement uh, with those guys. Um, you know, uh, there's some guys that play that play uh, that, that, you know contributing special teams for us. Um, that also play uh, on both sides of the ball that, that I may have mentioned. Um, you know, and, and at the end of the day, uh, I like I think we're getting a better look at practice out of our look teams, which. Uh, I think is, is a major factor in, in how well we are prepared for what we're going to each and every Friday night. Those are some unsung heroes, in my opinion, right there, because, you know, they've got to let your offense, defense, see what the other team is going to probably do. And so uh, I always uh, admire the guys on, on the look teams. We'll take our final break on McDonald's Coach's Bench and be back in just a moment. Terry Evans, very happy to be with Coach Marty Wheeler today on McDonald's Coaching Bench on Mix 104.1. Well, it's the Barger family reunion or the Barger family fight tonight, Coach, as uh, uh, Coach Barger's brother comes up. He's a head man now down at Eastridge, and he comes up to take on the Blue Raiders. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sure they've had uh, a couple conversations this week, um, you know, um, both of them do a great job. I mean, um, you know, our coach Barter um, is our defensive coordinator, and, and, and like we've talked about, our defense has played well uh, this year at this point. We, we, we want to, you know, there's still things we can definitely improve on. We want to continue to move forward with that. Um, Chad at East Ridge is uh, they're a better football team than they were last year. You know, I mean, they're, they're making some mistakes, and uh, 
you know, I know he's he's uh, probably a little frustrated with that, but, but I mean, you can see by watching the film that those guys have improved from a year ago, and, and uh, he's a good football coach, you know, and he's he's going to do everything in his power to get his guys ready to play and, and, and improve each and every week as well. So, um, you know, that's one thing I can't say. I've never, I've never had the opportunity to go against, um, you know, a sibling of mine in, 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 a, um, in, a, in, a, in a game that we didn't yeah. – we didn't create in the backyard, so <laughs> uh, I imagine to be it wouldn't be a whole lot different, you know. So uh, it's uh, I imagine they, they I mean they're, they're brothers, but, I'm, but but for four quarters they'll they'll put that aside and then right. you know they'll pick back up on that when it's over. Um, you know we're just we're looking for uh, our guys to play well, to play up to their capabilities, and our coaches to coach up their, to their abilities, and and, and us to really uh, take a, the next step as we re get ready to go uh, into the the really meat of our schedule. One last question for Coach Wheeler. Uh, what, and looking at Eastridge or hearing about Eastridge, what do you expect <coughs> them to try to do tonight? <laughs> well, I mean, they're, 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 they're an offense that, that, that um, can get under center and, and run a, a, um, a wing T type offense, which we don't see a lot. Right. You know, so it's it's really tough to – to get your little guys to simulate that at practice, you know, and I think that's one of the advantages of that offense. But uh, they also will, you know, get in some spread formations too, and and, and try to try to run the football, try to spread you out and run it, and, and also get involved with the passing game. Think about playing against, playing those guys. You got to be. It's not the, it's not the option, but but it's along the same lines of, you know, discipline wise, making sure you're locked in on what your read key is because. You know, those types of offenses I, I, I've got uh, a lot of experience with. Um, if you get, you know, if you want to get caught up looking in the backfield, um, there'll be people running wide open right. uh, when they decide to throw the football. So our guys have got to do a, a really good job of focusing in on uh, what their re key is. And their re key, uh, I think, will give them a really good idea of where they need to be when the ball snapped. Um, so it'll be a challenge for our guys to do that play in and play out. And then, you know, defensively, they're an odd front. They've got some guys that got a little speed, so um, you know it's don't know where they are health wise. You know, they're, they're, uh, I'm sure their their depth is very similar to ours, which is if it is, it's non-existent. So um, you know, we'll, we'll have to uh, we'll have to be ready to to um, maybe a, a wrinkle here or there, maybe. But we just got to be we got to do continue improving on what we've done defensively and offensively. I'm really anxious to see how much we've improved from a week ago as far as, you know, execution and being productive. The always entertaining Coach Marty Wheeler. I love talking to you off and on the air, Coach. You always keep it interesting. Thanks to Mark Smith, all the McDonald's people, for bringing you Coach Marty Wheeler on Coach's Bench. This is Terry Evans saying see you next time.